we're gonna try this again. I know, it's Saturday. I normally don't stream on Saturdays. It's kind of weird. Uh, but we're doing something a little different today. I'm lazy, and I'm tired, and I was thrown off a little bit by, uh, the stream not going the way I wanted it to go, uh, yesterday, so... We're just sort of, we're just, we're just chilling today. And I figured, okay, we can finish achievement hunting. And see how it goes. See how my network goes. Okay, I'm not dropping any frames. So, hopefully everything works out alright. Because we only have about five achievements left to find. And... Oh, I forgot to do something. I did the wrong thing. Doopsie doops. Hold on, I gotta fix that. I've got to fix. I've got to fix the uh, the YouTube one. So we're gonna we're gonna fix that. So we're gonna edit the title here of this one. We're just gonna change that. So hopefully we're in the correct one now. So hopefully YouTube is up right now, doing its thing, yeah. Yeah, there we go. Okay, cool. So that's up. Uh, oh, you can do it if you want. That, that would help me out, actually. Okay. So what we have going is... Uh, so Noct helped me out a little bit. Uh, narrowing down the last five achievements that we have left. So, one of them is getting all of the eyeballs, which I figured out. I figured that was one. So, uh, and that's the hidden eyeballs. So, I went back uh, earlier today and just picked up pretty much all of them, except for the ones in uh, this one, in Iris' Somnium, and in... Uh, Mame's Somnium, the last one. So, I figure, I figured that we had, like, a few other achievements left. And one of those ends up being... Hold on, my brain is not functioning. I have food here, so I, I have food to eat also, which is nice. Uh, but one of them ends up being collecting all of the little eyeballs, and then part of collecting all the eyeballs, you finish off the dream album, which is all the pictures. And so those two achievements are tied together. And then uh, I think this was the last one I had to do to get the target time. Yeah, so I wanna get the target time on this sink. So we're gonna do that, we're gonna work on that. But then there's also achievements in here for, there's also Somnium achievements. So I figured out that probably one of them was here in the Iris Somnium, which is why I keep clicking on it because I'm trying to remember things. And then we narrowed it down to, there's one here in BB Somnium. And then there's one actually in Soma's Somnium. So I know what the BB one is, but I don't know what the one in Iris and Soma's Somniums are. So I don't know. I have a feeling the Iris one is collect them all or something of that nature. And then uh, the Soma one, I have a feeling it's related to like jokes or something. So I'm not sure what I have to do for this one. But I want to do the BB one and I want to see if I can do it in the unlimited section. Because you still have to do 
uh, the quick time events, even in the unlimited one, you just have more time to like run around and click on stuff. So I'm going to see if we can actually trigger it through here. Mm. So we're going to skip through this intro here. I do like this one. It's very spooky. All right, we are trapped in a nightmare. So we have to get ourselves out of here. All right, and then the next thing we have to do is we have to hide. And I remember we have to hide. He. Okay, so it's still counting down, see? So we still get nine seconds to hide. So we have to hide in the locker. Did I make it in time? I remember that. And then he comes through and he shoves that aside and he's just like, haha, there you are, but I can't it's see you, it's dark. dark. So I'm gonna gas you instead because I'm a horrible person. And he is, he's a horrible person. All right. And then we have to destroy the pipe. I remember that. An air duct. Uh, jump on it is how we had to do I it, I think. Look. So then we clear that, and then now we have to hide again. Always meddling in my... I'll bring a light with me. We need to hide again. He said he was going to bring a light this time. We have to think carefully or we'll be discovered. So then you have to hide up here because he doesn't actually look up. No. All right. No, we have to save the rabbit. Animal. We need we have to save Mizuki! He hasn't noticed us yet. We should not make any- Okay. So now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna save right here. We're gonna- we probably are gonna end up doing some saves coming. But it shouldn't be too bad. Okay. So he's gonna look around. Huh? Guess it was nothing. Okay. Why am I over here? Oh, right, because I have to save the rabbit. Huh? Yes, it was not. We cannot get close to the rabbit now. Distract him. Oh. I was wondering why he put me all the way back here. Got it. That was weird. Uh, poor chemicals. Bottles of chemicals on this. That would break the device. Yeah. Yes. Bound to have get to his break attention. It. This bottle looks perfect. Yeah. Nothing wrong with a How little seed over the machine. Pens. Try throwing it. Like here. Hopefully we don't have to save scum, but. But this is where it's gonna Damn. test my memory a little bit. Because I don't remember this Damn one as well. Uh, the, the ending that we have to go through, so. All right, we have to go save the rabbit now. Bunny! A stuffed rabbit. Is the electricity? Uh, okay. Yeah, no. So we have to actually do this with the computer. The PC chip. We you. Uh, rewrite the program, rewrite the I remember that. Okay, so we save the rabbit. That rabbit must symbolize someone else going through the same experiments. They were supporting one another as victims of the same trauma. So she wanted to protect someone. Strange. What if her objective? Chikara is already dead. There is no. Okay. Now this 
When my son was born. We're not doing the password. What can that he has not noticed. So we're not doing the password because we actually have to do the first uh the first ending. I'm like 99% certain we have to do the first ending. So we're not gonna do this. How would I know? We do actually know what the password is, but that's okay. You're right, someone else. I wonder who. <laughs> huh? Uh oh. What are you doing? Okay, so we're gonna save here. Subordinate test subject. We need to hide. Huh? Uh oh. Uh. Guess it was nothing. We need to be careful. I don't remember where I'm supposed to hide. Um, in here, I think. Here. I mean, I think he's gonna find us in here, but I know there's one where he finds us. <laughs> this is exciting. You're next. <gasps> Where are we supposed to hide? I don't remember. Uh, see, this is where I was like, okay, we're gonna be doing a little save scummy because I don't remember where we're supposed to hide for this one. <sighs> where are we supposed to hide? That one comes later then. Under the workbench comes later. What are you doing? <sighs> oh, okay, here we go. Inside the workbench. Here. I was supposed to grab the rabbit. That was the mistake. There we go. Because it said hide together. And I was like, I remember that, but I forgot that we actually had to click on the rabbit to hide with it. Right here. <laughs> So I'm gonna save again. It's not opening. Huh? <laughs> if you're not going to come out, then watch what happens. I love that. I was anxious. Subjects who don't obey. Oh, hey, little man Tate. Good to see you. How Don't are you? you the whole will repair itself. And we, we're at a good show. <laughs> Let's see if that hypothesis is correct. All right, now that's you can So scary. I need to protect the rabbit. I have to remember what I have to do next. No choice. Okay. Now's our chance. There's no switch. I can't stop it. Huh? Mizuki, what do we do? We grab it. She said that... That she'd protect them. No matter what. I understand. We have no choice. I remember this. I remember the first uh, time I saw uh, this, uh, and it was uh, like... <laughs> This hurts my heart. Of course, I figured it was Mizuki, but we didn't know who, like, BB was at the time. So just imagining this as, like, uh, Mizuki Kuranushi and Mizuki Date, just my heart. Oh, my God. So, in other words, this... This Both is Mizukis have had a hard this time. They have had very hard wish. lives. Isn't that right? I hope they're happy now. With uh with best mom and best dad, so Nothing but 
chief and an imbecile. I know I don't have to keep watching this, but I'm just over here like sobbing. Don't mind me. I'm gonna eat my sushi and cry a little bit. <laughs> Couldn't break his machines. I couldn't fight back. But things are different now. Also, I want to watch her kick his ass. Murder him. Yes. End him. Examination over. I will protect them. I won't let you hurt them. The Bravado Initiative is proceeding as planned. Humanity will eventually reach Moksha. Also, I'm pretty sure that's actually what Terror said in that flashback. Back then when, um, Ryuki shot, uh, BB, so... Oh, uh, it's so good to watch these again afterwards. Now that should hopefully give me an achievement. Woohoo! Oh, Kunochi versus Mad Scientist. That's a good one. I like that. That's a good name for that achievement. I'm sorry, but I looked into your head. Into your dream, to be more technical about it. I want to ask you a few things. Is that okay? You've already brought me here. It's a little late to ask for permission. Or, were you intending we play some card games here or something? Uh, like Mizuki, like Mizuki. <laughs> oh, man. All right. So that's one down. Now the Shoma and the uh, the Iris ones, I have no idea what those are and where they are. So we're gonna we're gonna have fun with those. Here it is. Okay. With no game over, no QTE fails. So the game overs is is uh, how we didn't get this achievement the first time. So, all right. Next is uh, do I want to do Shomas or Irises? Let's do Shomas, yeah. And let's see. Hopefully, we can get this in unlimited as well. So. The thought process I have for this one, what might be the trophy, is doing more of the, like, joke options. I, I'm wondering if there's something similar to, like, the first game. So in the first game, you get an achievement for doing, like, all of this, like, weird shit to unlock uh, a joke ending about Adarabbit. And considering Shoma has an Adarooster... I'm kind of wondering if it's a similar thing. You just have to do like a bunch of like random shit to get like the Adder Rooster this doll is Shoma's house. to show up. A stereotypical home. All right. D don't mind Ryuki and Tama just being a very cringe couple. <laughs> we love them. We love them for that reason. All right. So if you guys remember, this Somnium in particular is from the the happy family ending of uh, Shoma and Komeiji, where Komeiji doesn't die. So, and and yeah, I have That's feelings. Suit, I have many this? feelings about that. Well, since we're here, let's tickle it. Tickle, 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 tickle. Hey, hey, you like this, right? Tickle, tickle! I know this was my idea, but it was a bad idea. <laughs> <sighs> I thought you might have a memory of being tickled, but it didn't work. Should we be more direct? Okay, Kumeji's okay, out. I want to sp spell it. 
I'm an AI ball. I have no sense of smell. Smell it but anyway. But you can detect smell, right? Do it. I mean, we are in a dream. Do it, Tama. Spell it. I don't know about this. Spell it. Come on. Huh. Something is weird. I figured it would have that old people smell. But this smells like Bolse and Bagana. Bolse and Bagana! Like I'm dead! <laughs> Also, thank you, little man Tate, for the resub. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. <laughs> resub hype? No, don't tickle me. I don't. I don't want to be tickled. War crimes are committed when I'm tickled. All right. Uh. Komeji's outfit. Why? Nothing is better to heal Shoma's heart than a smile. So... Okay, leave it to me. Um... Dad! Dad! Why did you disappear on me? Literally disappear? So this is a brand new 10,000 yen bill. This world is becoming more and more cashless. Look, an invisible man! No, he's just naked from the waist down. You know, this might have the opposite effect. Why? People watching on the TV were going crazy. No. He ripped it. All right, now we get to go in the dollhouse. Is this a model of a house? Tama, you okay? All right. So of course the answer to this is we have to fix it with the tape, but I want to see what the other options are. Fix it with the hammer. Andy's Komeji's outfit. Fix yourself. <laughs> well, I tried. How is this supposed to work again? I don't know. Then why did you tell me to do it? Because it was funny. <clears throat> Alright, let's try the screwdriver. Use a screwdriver, maybe? Hmm. Let's give it a shot. Don't mind me, I just choked on my bubble tea. So, how do we do this? <laughs> Why don't you turn the screw? There are no screws, these are clothes. All right, uh, glue. Can we glue it back together? Let's try. Done. Oh, <laughs> blue wasn't right. Let's find another way. That was great. I enjoyed that. All right. Uh, scissors. Make it worse. Make it worse, Tama. I'm guessing this outfit was in pieces to begin with. So use the scissors to cut it up again. Huh? The scissors are going through. I didn't think it was an illusion. Maybe it just needs to be fixed. Yeah, good point. All right, that was fun. Okay, fix it with tape. Then we tape it back together. Kids laugh at him. All right, next is the TV. Doesn't find Komeji funny on the TV. Uh, let's try laughing at it. You want me to laugh at the yes, TV? Yes, laugh at the yeah. TV, Tama. I was thinking it could bring back memories of the father and son laughing together. Okay. <laughs> huh? I heard laughter from the TV. Hmm. Should we turn it on? TV with a weird protrusion. 
Can we take it apart with a screwdriver? Huh? There aren't any screws. Wait, this... You got something? It's ceramic. Ceramic? It looks like a normal TV. The outside is ceramic. What is this? This is creepy. Looks like we can take it apart. A TV with a weird protrusion. So we can Oh, I guess she said it looks like we couldn't take it apart. I was kind of hoping she like would that. take it apart. All right, now we watch Dad on TV, then we break the TV, and then we go back into the dollhouse. And now I know how we how we're supposed to fix the TV. Oh, there's nothing else we can click on, really. Damn. All right. Uh so the answer is we have to tickle it, but I want to open it. Okay, it doesn't open. Made... And then we're going to throw it, because it's funny when she throws it. Yeet it, Tama. <laughs> and then it just lands back in the same place. It came back. <laughs> and then Made let's go on vacation. Huh? Shoma, we're going to Machu Picchu. I'm going to train my comedy skills at a World Heritage Site. Wait, can they even afford to go to Machu Picchu? I never specified Machu Picchu. Komeji suitcase. Now we tickle, tickle it. Tickle, 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 tickle. <laughs> All right, so now it's a picture of his dad. Okay, nothing else I can click on again. Okay. It's a. So we have to cut it out. We have to cut it out. Let's start. What are you thinking? <laughs> Crumbling up a drawing and throwing it away? It's okay. I have an idea. I love when Tom just yells at Ryuki. I'll destroy every ball in your body. Oh, then never mind. Let's not. Huh? I didn't actually have a plan. I'm going to crush. I'm just being honest. Which ball do you want crushed first? My left eye. That's me. <laughs> it's a drawing. Oh, that's a good one. All right. Uh, comment. Uh, this picture. It's a two-dimensional representation, but it shows incredible depth. I think the father of the artist. Yes, we can really feel their relationship, or something. The square face. It's drawn with the principles of cubism, I believe. Maybe. Yes, the totality of it. Like at the bottom right side, the uh, color. Color is brilliant. We can see the struggles of the artist. Well, <laughs> not really. And that part that goes, whoosh, you really feel the love there. You should apologize to the artist. Yeah, I'm not good at that stuff. Oh, she's all embarrassed. Oh. It's a drawing. All right. You want me to do the same thing Shoma did to the TV? If we do it in a similar way, it might trigger a memory. I don't think that's really the same thing. Shoma's heart has seams. We need to repair them. Yeah, we shouldn't worsen his relationship with his father. All right. It's a <clears throat> you want me to cut? So we're going to put it on the TV, and that's going to fix it. Hey, look, we it's came Shoma. back. Shoma is... All right. Uh, the notebook. Okay, so I know we have to fix this one. This It's a linguist. Cut it more. Yeah, maybe that will do something. All right, I'll try it. Ruin it. <laughs> that was close. Cutting up someone's notebook is pretty messed up. Yeah, we should do something else. 
right? What if we fix so it with a pen? Text. How do I fix? Tub, 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 butt, 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 butt. You're turning your tubs into butts. What's going on? The note got fixed, but nothing else is special about it. Yeah. He was bullied because of his name. Maybe that's a clue. You mean Tubby? Forget about the butts. <laughs> oh, you meant Shoma. Oh, I wonder if I have to fix all the notebooks. So this one's the answer. I have to fix the math notebook. It's a science textbook. There's no name on it. Uh, fix with a screwdriver. Fix it like you're turning a screw. There are no screws. Just try it. What even is the point of this? <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna laugh if this works. We're just sitting here. Alright. Let's try something else. I hoped you would have noticed earlier. <laughs> oh, that was it's great. a science. Alright. How are we supposed to fix this? Set it on fire! Why don't you flip through it first? Oh, the notebook is fixed. You're right. That's it, though. Nothing special about it. I'm sure it has something to do with being picked on because of his name. His name, huh? But I'm having fun! We set the notebook on fire! That actually fixed it! Alright. It's a social studies textbook. It's barely been used. Uh, fix with the toy hammer. Yeah. Yeah. There. <sighs> this isn't gonna fix anything. <laughs> it's a social studies textbook. All right. There's nothing written in it, so there's nothing to be fixed with whiteout. Just smear some more on there. At random. Uh, top. Huh. It got fixed. What happened? Ta I get it. You fixed history. And... Well... Um... According to Shoma's memory, I think it has to do with his name. His name, huh? You, you, got, you guys saw that, right? You guys saw that Tama broke her neck really bad during that one, right? Her head was upside down. Poor Tama. She fixed the notebook but broke her neck. <laughs> this is Komeiji's comedy material notebook. Okay, I already... I'm gonna pick fix with tape because I know that doesn't work. So now we're gonna this fix it with the folding fan because it's funny. He's a comedian after all. When Shoma was little, I asked Oh, the notebook is fixed. For Yuki? Oh. And you don't need to put Bonito flakes on it. There's already toppings. That's funny. All right. All right, so the last one is the math it's notebook. It's a math note. Uh, let's fix it with glue. If you glue it together, you won't be able to open it. Just try it. Just Please. do it anyway, Tom. Fine. Oh, nice! I'm glad you got your Grasping Thorn 1. Huh? <laughs> it's not sticking. Maybe the notebook is rejecting the glue. Oh, let me know if she has Tempest of Light um, 3, because I need that. It's a math notebook. Dad? What? Hep? Anyway. Everybody's a critic. The <laughs> oh. <laughs> Laughter and happiness. <laughs> but 
but smiling doesn't suit me. This name... I think it's a good name. That's why smiles suit him well. Yeah, we need to convince him. I don't need this memory. I don't need this name. I just want to be upset. Hurts. I'm not even real. The world, Dad, it's all fake. Um, all the world's a stage. Amusement park. The barber said they're waiting for the ear to come on down. God of haircut, snip, snip. Oops, got your ear. Stop. It's not funny. A lot of factors led to him becoming an introvert. I'd like to fix every little thing, but... The trophy Shoma destroyed disappeared. Can you find something like it? There has to be something. Alright. I think the answer is the robot? Oh, it's actually everything. It's a mono wheel. Beat it up. I don't care who I'm up against. Robot or human. Go! Yeah! Looks like they don't care who they're up against either. Hmm. I'll let it slide for now. We need to clear this area the same way we do a Somnium. Alright, that was funny. A refrigerator. I want to open the door. Pick it up. Oh. Surprisingly. Hey, late. it's Atta Rooster! Huh. Isn't that Atta Rooster turned into Flatter Rooster? What was that? Oh, it is at a rooster. I was right. Oh. Hmm. There's miso soup inside. Oh my god, yes. Oh my god, yes. Hmm. Uh, I... I can't move! Are you paralyzed? Oh no, there he is! Had a rooster. What is this? Are you doing this? What are you doing? Why? No. Ryuki! Help me, Ryuki! <laughs> What's going on? He's outside. Hello, Rooster. <laughs> yeah! Woo! We did it! <laughs> so that's, um... That's similar to an ending in the, uh, to a, an achievement you can get in the first game. That was great. I was so happy it's that that was the answer. Oh, I love that. We're gonna do a prop skit, Tama. Again? It'll be good this time. It's gonna bring back some sad memories again. Alright. It's a... Make them laugh, make them laugh. It's comedy duo is the one we're supposed to do, but... It's a norm... Alright. I kinda... I'm, I'm only... I'm continuing this because I want to see if Adder Rooster is outside. When, uh, when the room gets, uh, big. It is so... Uh, do I want to do any more joke endings? I kinda do, but I kinda don't. I mean, I do. We're doing it. Maybe these things started out separated, but over time got attached. So you're saying we need to separate it in order to fix it? Well, let's give it a shot. 
Nope, it won't tear. It looks like paper, but it's as hard as rock. So it's like a rock, paper, scissors rule breaker. How exactly? Let's think of a simpler idea. A simpler idea. Ripped paper. How should we fix it? Can we use that to erase some mistakes? It's just a normal eraser. I wonder... Huh, nothing is erasing. That's odd. Mr. Date is always telling me to think outside the box. Sometimes simpler is better. Let's see... Ripped paper. I'm guessing something was written on these three sheets. What should we write? Can you write Shoma Enda? This has no ink. It's the only pen we have. Let's try other things. Okay. Alright, I'm back. I got up to turn the Ripped lights on. paper. Before it got too dark in here. Alright, so we'll fix it with tape. Skip, 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 skip. All of the skips. And then Toma's like, no! I don't like it. I don't want to be happy. Life isn't real. Stop making me feel things. Okay, so one of the things that, um, that was kind of funny when I was doing, uh, the eyeballs off screen is there was one back here behind the TV. And if you stand in the center of this, like, flower, I guess, it's above you. So you just press X and, and it's like huge. It's just like staring down at you. It's really funny. Anyway. Uh, let's see. Where's that, where's, where's that a rooster? Hold on. Is he out here somewhere? I wanna see. I don't see him. All right, all right. Well, that's all. I wanted to see if Adder Rooster was out here, and he is not, because that would have been funny. Okay. All right. Last one is in Iris Somnium, which hopefully we can do with the unlimited time, and we are absolutely gonna play the shit out of some Pokemon Go. All right, so. Almost get cursed by Adarooster <laughs> during Shomasomnium, the chicken curse. <laughs> uh. So it's not to spoil, I mean, I did spoil like a crap ton from the first game anyway in the whole thing, but uh, when you're doing a specific Somnium in the first game, and I, I show it off in my 100% run, um, you can get, uh, you have to pick up the, t uh, the fridge pick up the TV. You have to pick up the fridge at one point and uh, add a rabbit is under the fridge. So when I saw that you could pick the fridge up, I was like, oh, it's the thing. And then, yeah, and then he ends up in the in the pot and that's where you get cursed. So that's that's why I was laughing. I was like, oh my God, it's going to be out of rooster. So there we go. Uh, let's see here. The eyeballs really weren't too bad to find. It's a lot easier when you have uh, unlimited time to find them. Oh, the one that was interesting that I do kind of want to show off later, if I have time, is that this one, actually getting the eyeballs in this one later on took some, some work. Um, for most of the rest of them, I just kind of missed it. Um, 
This one had a hard one to find, actually. Uh, and then we're gonna go do these ones. So let's do... Yeah, let's do irises. So we're gonna do unlimited for this one. So hopefully her, uh, her achievement is not, uh, uh, time gated. Because we're gonna, we're gonna try to collect them all. And of course that means we're getting, uh, spoilers man again. Our, our missing no. We're gonna be here for a while. No, not there. Found ya! Oh, this is an invasive species that destroys the ecosystem. <laughs> There's a whole hidden world down here you don't see until you've drained the pond. Ryuki. There must be other dangerous organisms in this pond. Ryuki, seriously! Good evening, good morning, and hello! This will be a brand new series! I'm starting a new game today! The game I'll be playing is... Kusumon Go! Kusei... What? She's talking about that geolocation game for your phone that's been out a few years now. You look for monsters and items and special locations. You play the game by walking, basically. I won't let you pass. It's so. That's the leader of the mansion. We're gonna defeat him in battle. If you want <laughs> to uncover the secret of this mansion, so kills me every you will time. need to defeat the two assassins. And then me. And then me. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty out of character. No, it's great. It's fantastic. And uncover the secret of the mansion. But in order to battle, we need to gather three Kusumon. We gotta catch three by walking around. Is this some kind of joke? Yes, it is to a massive Iris's joke, memory, and I'm super we're hyped to, to play this again. Here. I guess we start by gathering three Kusumon. But before that, Somnium scan activate. points, we should be able to find some Kusumon. And that's what the wiki said, at least. Let's go to the first Kusumon point. If the wiki says it, I guess it's true. If the All wiki right. says it, it let's must be true. Let's get those Kusumon and charge the mansion! Okay. Let's inspect that first Kusumon point. Okay, then. Oh, just the random titty jingle from, uh... From Tom over there. All right. What is this? Yay! We're at our first Kusumon point! This is it. So how do you get the Kusumon? Digging? What, are they buried in there? Let's pamper this Kusumon so we can catch it! Pamper? Butter them up and treat them nice, I guess. It's an honor to speak to you! This is that forensics guy. Yeah, the inspector. I'm so, I'm so, I have It's to. Kagami! It worked anyway! <laughs> I'm dead. Everyone has a hard time memorizing Kagami's name. He's the forensics guy. I wouldn't say everyone. Oh, so his name is Kagami. Oh my god. There's another one. I'm oh, dead. <laughs> they joined us. We got the first Kusumon. That was so worth Let's it, dude. One. Oh my Looks god, like yes. That strategy worked. I guess it did. We just need two more. And this seems pretty Holy easy. Holy shit, dude. That let's was so it. good. All right, let's let's pick up the oh, bushes. Yeah. <laughs> this isn't something you can pick up. We can't pick it up. Should have seen that coming. <laughs> Okay, what about this one? Oh, 
Yeah. Okay. How about this one? Ow. Yeah. Ow. I'm gonna click on every bush. All right. Listen. L -l listen. Listen. All right. Bushes. Pewter. All right. I'm gonna do the bushes first. Ow. Yeah. So someone. Oh. I got an eyeball for that. Someone is hiding in the damn bushes, and I'm gonna find out who it is. Marimo? What? It's called a topiary. Oh, we just found another rare item! They have rare Marimos? Like, how it's cooked? I said it's a topiary. We just got a Kusumon egg! An egg? Hmm, what do we do? Is it on the wiki? I see. Okay. Just ignore it. Next up, let's go! Hmm? What are we gonna do? Pick it up or leave it. I'll try picking it up. Take me with it. me. Notice anything? Not really. Hmm. If there's nothing else, let's keep moving. Yeah. Okay, so we have to get the egg to hatch. I wonder if it hatches from us running around like it would in uh, Pokemon Go. Oh, we don't have the egg. An inspector with a difficult to remember name. Oh my God, it actually says Kaniza, I'm deceased. Oh my God. <laughs> His name is Kaniza. <laughs> it actually says it still. Oh my God, I'm dead. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we can't pick that one up. How about this one? It's not a topiary, it's a Kusamon egg. We can't one. carry any more eggs. I guess it's the rule of this game. You can only carry one egg at a time. If that's the rules, guess we can't do anything about that. Should we change out the egg? <laughs> no. Nah. I feel like it's going to reset the progress. Yeah. Okay, so this one's an egg as well. I think if we just run around for a bit, it's gonna hatch. Uh, okay, so we got Pewter. We already got our boy, Kaniza. Uh, we got Boss before. Let's get Mama. Oh, hello there. It's Mama from Marble. If I had to guess, I'd say her defense is pretty high. I've got Macho Muscles. Macho Muscles? And not just any muscles, the good stuff? I'm all in! Hell yeah. Troubled times call for macho muscles. That's what Mr. Date used to say. I wonder if macho muscles got him out of a bind once or something. Mama joined the team! It did. I'm 100% positive it did. Mama has tons of off-the-record information. It's amazing! And that translates to good stats somehow? I guess her skills are good for this kind of thing. All right, so we got Mama. Mama. Ooh. All right. Uh. uh we need more Kusamon power. Yeah, but. Why don't you gather three first? Okay. Okay, so I needed three to break that. I couldn't remember. Okay, we've gotten boss before, so I'm not gonna worry about boss right now. Let's get Ota. When is this damn egg gonna hatch? Lesson, lesson. What is that? If you see a stranger, follow him. Oh, good. It's Ota. This shouldn't be difficult. <sighs> Crap. Is that a line from an anime or something? I think it is. about 20% of the prize. 60%. Okay, 40. Hey, it worked. Yay, Ota joined the team. I love how Iris does not look happy oh, about that. that was the reference. I love that anime. Hmm, I'm surprised you got it. 
Not only is Ota an otaku, he's also good at internet stuff. I never knew that. Internet stuff? Is he really? Nairus's dreams, maybe. All right. Got all three. Yes! Now we can battle. Where do we go for that? Iris wanted to fight the mansion later, so maybe we should go to the entrance? All right, let's charge the mansion. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm very excited. All right, there's an eyeball, so I need that. That's one of the eyeballs. So there's, there's five of those. Okay, so I have to get around to the back to get that one. Um... So the eyeballs look like Pokeballs, apparently. Okay, let's break this. Oh! The power of the three Kusumon are combining! Alright. We can keep going. I wonder if there are more Kusumon ahead. It's worth looking around. Alright, so we're gonna end up getting Date like we did last time, but... Let's get... Okay, so we've got Ota, Mama... And Kaniza, our boy. Uh, so let's get Pewter, Moma, and Boss. Do you require my intellect? Man, who says that? Oh, this game is just an Iris's head. I mean, fucking Pewter looks like a gym leader, so we kind of need him. We need your clothes. Ah, uh, and I guess you... <laughs> Don't really need I really this. wanted to say that. I'm oh, sorry. No. You hurt his feelings. Come on, you knew that wouldn't work. <laughs> I did know his that wouldn't work. His clothes are just so. I always thought his outfit was so over the top. You know. <clears throat> um, hello, Pewter here. You do realize I am watching all of this, right? Uh, <laughs> I love that Ryuki had huh? nothing to say after oh, that. Oh, oh, it's hatching! What's going on? I'm getting this weird feeling. I get it. The egg hatches after a certain amount of time. The black and white bear born from the egg joins the team. I don't want it. Put it back. Just kidding. I'm taking it with me. Is this guy allowed to be in this game? It was a real hassle to get this Kusimon. I'm sure it'll be a good one. Right. Oh my fucking god, dude. Oh my god. Alright, we gotta get the other egg. It's not a Toberry, it's a Kusamon egg. I'll try picking it up. I got it. Notice anything? Not really. Hmm. If there's nothing else, let's keep moving. Yeah. Oh my god, I bet it's- oh god. I do think it's related to Collect Em All, or it's related to Danganronpa. Oh god. All right, well, let's get, uh, let's get Pewter in here. Do you require my intellect? Yes, Pewter. I understand. I'm sure I'll be of use. Wow, he's confident. Well, he did make me and the sync machine, so he's pretty smart. Yep. Pewter, join the team! Pewter is really smart. He can fight like only smart people can. Like me. Alright, next is Moma. I'm Moma Kumakura, the chairman of the Kumakuras. He looks tough. Well, he is a tough guy in real life. Yeah, he's the Don. A Don Kusimon. Okay, I want to know what the other, okay, I want to know what these ones are. Of course, the answer is water because it's wet set A set, but anyway. Sakazuki? What is that? Some kind of instrument? That's a kazoo. This MoMA is in Iris's head. He doesn't know what you're talking about. Oh, right. This is just Iris's version of MoMA. I would be worried if she knew that term. Yeah, you, yeah. You, you should be worried if she knows that. Oh, we don't do that. We're a wholesome gang. We're not out here to throw our weight around. 
That would be dangerously close to an HR violation. An HR violation. You're a street gang that worries about HR violations? It's like a video rental store with no videos. That metaphor's pretty outdated. That's so funny. I'm Moma Cook. Wet, sweat, ASAP! Fears! Upset, regret, ASAP! Shadows! Threat, silhouette, ASAP! You're all right. Yeah, I'll join your squad. Hooray! Mama, join the team! That was easy. But is the real Mama like this? Yes, yes, yeah. he is. He's actually pretty helpful for a Yakuza. Mama fights with different tools. I wonder what kinds he has. Tools. Well, Yakuza like to use. Yeah, that. Alright, sorry, Ota, get out of here. Alright. Next is Boss. And we have to pick the joke answers because Boss can actually hear us, so. What do you want from me? It's Boss. She's gotta be strong. I'm not short on cash. Oh, right. You do go to host clubs all the time. We need to bribe her with fancier stuff than cash. Yes, we can't treat her like a normal person. Exactly. Boss is out there. Her head's in outer space. Ryuki, do you want me to send you to outer space? <laughs> Worth it. <laughs> what do you want from <laughs> Okay. Um, I don't remember which one it is. I think it's this okay. one. Okay. Lick my boots. Hmm? No. You should be saying, as you wish, master. Say it, Tama. <sighs> as you <laughs> Poor wish, Tama. master. Good girl. Make sure you practice being a chair, too. <laughs> uh, Boss, join the team! Boss has dirt on some major big shots out there. Jeez. Even in this game, Boss is terrifying. I can hear you. Alright. Sorry, oh. Moma. Okay, so we're still looking for eyeballs. We gotta find them. I saw one already. I mean, I could just look them up, but... We might as well run around and see if we can find any. And we gotta get our boy, Yagyu. Oh, here's one. Mm -hmm. That's... I do love that they look like freaking pokeballs in this one. I'm dead. It's so funny. All right, so here's here's our boy, spoiler man. Uh, Dante's over there. There's another one over here. How do I how do I get up there? Can I can I get up on this? Can I walk on this? Aha! I have figured it out. Don't fall off. Okay. We did it! Give me that. Is this? Okay. There's three more somewhere. Oh, the oh, egg! Oh, the egg! Congratulations! I don't recognize that one! Is this guy allowed to be in this game? It was a real hassle to get this Kusimon. I'm sure it'll be a good one. Oh, right. I got the trophy! Kusimon Master! I love that! <laughs> That's great! <laughs> so it was collect them all! Oh, but I didn't have to collect them all in the same in the same game. That's so funny. Or was it just get the two eggs? Let me see. What does it say? Oh, that's cool. <laughs> that's funny. Oh, that's great. Okay. I don't know what the Wanderer's from. 
It's clearly from a, uh, another, like, Spike Chunsoft game, but I don't recognize it. And now I feel bad, but the, the, the Danganronpa one is great. Alright. So, we need some more of the eyeballs. So, uh, yeah, let's get... Let's get Aiba, and then we'll get Date, and then we'll get, um, our boy, Spoiler Man. So, where's Aiba? Aiba, 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 here's Aiba. I'm the super high-tech cutie AI, Aiba. Oh, hey, she's, she's wearing Mr. the outfit. She's AI ball. She's what I am to you, Ryuki. Are you trying to start a fight? I'm way cuter than a shrimp. Sorry, but I'm cuter. And sexier. Why, you? I will have you know I am beloved by all mankind. Hey, AIs, stop fighting. It's worth I'm it. the super high. Okay. I am an AI, not superhuman. I said superhuman like. That implies that your abilities are greater than human. So, I'm right. I see. But I still object to the framing of your request. So, I cannot accept it. Fucking AIs, man. You're an AI? Shirin the Wanderer. That's the name of the game? I'll have to try it. I'm the super... Justice. Please define it. What a pain. I'm not very good at being convincing. All right. I'm this. Come on, Iba. Yay! It's the abnormally long neck Trachalismus Tenuissimus. I love Iba. She's so cute. Iba, join the team! Iba is capable of making high speed calculations that confuse enemies. Isn't that so cool? Guess she really does like bugs. What even is this thing? A beetle with a long neck. You know what it is? I'm surprised the Iba and Iris's head reacted to that. It was popular on ViewCube for a little bit. The Trachalismus Tenuissimus Dance Challenge! Good thing I watched it. What the hell kind of dance is that? Another mystery. Alright, I know I need- I know I want to get Date, but I want to see if I can actually be, uh, Yagyu with this team. Is this? No way. It's Uncle! Hidden boss. If we beat them, we might be able to make them a member of the team. They look strong, though. So this Kusamon we need to fight to get to join us. Okay. What should we do? This Kusamon is different from the others, but nothing special besides that. I see. We don't need to fight them, Ryuki. Hmm. What should we do? Hidden boss. You need to fight this Kusamon to make them a member. What do you want to do? Alright, join Let's us, Dad. Them. Got it. We gotta make, uh, we gotta make Mizuki and, uh, Iris sisters after all. Oh, looks good. Spoiler, now man. bring it on! F. <laughs> Choose a Kusamon to fight! Go! Black and white there! Choose a skill that might be most effective. I see. This is another feature. It's not just about... Black and white bear's punishment. Not effective. That's actually Which really is it? funny. It's somewhat effective. Exactly. All right, so we're just gonna do this. That's really funny, though. The punishment attack. <laughs> All right. Come on to fight! Alright, uh, wanderer. Go! 
Wanderer. I'm sorry, the what? Wanderer is the Cabra Reborn plus 99. Gigaton throw. Or Gaiton throw, excuse me. Tell you? In any case, they're part of the team now. Yeah, I'm sure they'll be of good use. All right, let's. I'm gonna go ahead and replace these guys since we got the achievement. So now we'll get Date. Date, get my favorite idiot. All right, come here. Now we get two versions of Date again. Right. What do you need, Mr. Date? If he's with us, we won't have to worry about I love thing. how gay Ryuki is for Date. It's my favorite thing. <laughs> okay, I gotta I gotta do all of these. I don't know about that. Using the name of justice so lightly. By fighting for this justice, Rose! as you call it. Would I be able to pierce the heart of a cabaret club girl? You can pierce her in other ways too. What do you mean? Tama, please. What do you need? You think you can entice me like that? Bribing an officer of the law with young babes? Y you're right. I'm sorry, Mr. Date. It's my duty to protect the public, not creep on them. Besides, I like my women thick and milky. Yes, I agree. I'll help you protect the public. Wait, that's not clicking. It is true, though. Date does like his women milky. What do you need? All right, now. Let's go get help. We should be getting assistance from a sister store in Nakamaguro. What's in Nakamaguro? It's a cabaret club. It's a cabaret club. You don't know that. It could be a girly bar. I love that. <laughs> what do you need? Hey, I found this crusty old magazine near the pond earlier. I don't believe it. That magazine? has the power to shine light on this dark world. What are you gonna do with that, Mr. Date? The landscape past the forest, the secret flower garden, the divinities of this world. Let's see them together. I love this fucking idiot. <laughs> I love him so much. <laughs> so profound. I want to see Mr. Date. I want to see. Date joined the team. He solved many difficult cases. He's a highly skilled and reliable detective. Really? I mean, his methods aside, he did solve the case. Yes, technically he did. I think I'm missing something here. <laughs> uh, so good. All right. Date, get. Okay, so I'm missing two more eyeball thingies speaking of i wonder if one of them's by the pond no yes is that all right so now i'm only missing two more okay so let me let me double check that yes so i'm missing two more eyeballs I could look them up, but I'm wondering if they're inside the mansion. Do I just want to look it up anyway? Yeah, let me just do it anyway. Where's my phone? I don't know what I did with my phone. 
How about I just kind of left it somewhere? I'll just look it up on my tablet. And then we just go down to Iris's. Okay, I got that one. Oh wait, no I didn't. Oh, there's another one. another one by the the river that I missed maybe no I did get this one no okay never mind I did get that one got that one okay yeah and the last two are inside that's what I was hoping for okay that's all I wanted to know the last two are inside Time to just win the game. <laughs> <laughs> Defeat the first assassin. Oh my god, I forgot about the poses, dude. Yes. <laughs> I love this. I love this so much. This is... Uh... Is this really how he acted? As well, much as I, like, Iris's I Somnium. love the first game, the first game's still first. overall my favorite. The Somniums in this game are just All more right. fun. Let's do this. Right. Especially with the, uh, uh, 100, uh, with the unlimited time mode. Not opening! I want to hit this developer over the head with a pickle. I want to hit him over the head with cheesy nod. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> It opened. Mizuki! Let's keep going. I want Mizuki. What's up? It's Mizuki. She's incredible in battle. Even Mr. Date is scared of her. Uh... I'll give you nunchucks. I do like nunchucks. But I prefer pipes. She sounds like a small town thug. You look like a small town thug. How? I look like a celebrity from Shirogane. I'll throw your question back at you. How? That's funny. Okay. What's up? Uh, I'm pretty sure it's let's defeat Date together, but... I don't need money. I'm the president of a company. Oh, right. That's true. No one has money problems anymore. I would keep that silver spoon attitude in here if I were you. That's fine. What's up? What? Where? That's kind of suspicious. Um, if you join the team... The team? That sounds pretty shady. I'll pass. She has her guard up. Alright, let's go What's beat up Date. Sounds good. Leave it to me. <laughs> I'll break the next one one shot. Won't even feel a thing. Why does Mizuki want to kill him so bad? Probably the porno mag collecting. It's definitely that. There's something missing about the Kusamon. What's missing? We have three Kusamon. Maybe we need a specific Kusamon. Oh, guess that's why. Alright, 
We got we got to we got to do that. Hold on. I want to I want to do this extra stuff. It's an honor to speak to you. All right. Come. Let's catch another. Which should we replace? Just, at this point, I'm just playing this because it's fun. Kagami's forensics ability opened the Fusuma door. Forensics ability. What is that? Oh, I needed to do that to get the eyeball in here. Mm. That's funny. I want to hit this. I want to. Okay. So now we have to win. So should we fight this? No, wait. Let's think. I want to know strategy. what he says about a strategy. Okay. Oh, these are the international mafia members that attacked Iris. That's what it said in the report. So they're appearing here as enemies. These enemies are symbolic to Iris. A lot happened after she was kidnapped. But fortunately, she was rescued. If we use the person that helped Iris back then, it should be an easy fight. Right. According to the records, it was Ota, Moma, Mizuki, and Date. If Mr. Date was there... Yeah, Aiba was there too. Alright. We have Aiba, right? No, we have Mizuki. I'm gonna go get Aiba. Because we used Date last time. Well, no, let me just hold on to Gagami because we have Falco. So we don't really need... So ship Yeah, we'll fight those. We don't really need anyone else, honestly. But I want to use Aiba. I'm going to use Aiba, I think. The red assassin appeared. And then I'm going to use... Uh... And then I'm going to use uh, Falco if Aiba goes down. Or, sorry, Mizuki. Go, Mizuki! Get him, Mizuki! Alright. Mizuki's metal pipe! This is a crazy one! Ugh, I don't care if it's crazy. Did the attack work or not? It must have worked. Uh, one shot him. <laughs> oh, look at Mizuki. Look at baby assassin. Mizuki. All right, kick him. Mizuki's kick. This is a crazy one. Defeated the blue assassin. Mizuki's so strong. The green assassin. Beat it and we win. All right. Punch. Mizuki's punch. This is a crazy one. Defeated the green assassin. Yay, we did it! Woo! All right. We did it! That was easy. Yay! First victory! What do we need to do next? The best part of these mansion battles is coming up! The Fusuma door opening ceremony! Let's go! I guess we're opening one of those sliding doors. Let's open it. All right. Can we open this now? Thank you for zooming in on Thomas G-String, game. So. All right, yeah. Not much of it, though. Terror talking to So. So being cringe, as usual. So having more illegitimate children besides just to Iris. him, it's over. The freak. Let's do it. That's anticlimactic. Can we defeat the final boss? So I know we have to beat him, but we're missing one thing. Can we open these now? Why is that not opening? I want it to open. Let me in. Let me in. Let me in. All right. Um. Did we have to beat so? Was that the answer? Oh, right. I think we beat so, and then we have to fight terror. So. Let's get this over with. We'll think of a new strategy. Got it. 
So Sejima's weakness. I want to know what this People says. People like him don't show their weaknesses. Weakness! That's it, Ryuki! Someone who knows So's weakness. Boss! That's right. She has to have some dirt on him. You know what? I I can't I wanna do it. Let's do it. I'm getting boss. That'll be really funny. Let's do it. What it still said Kadiza I'm again. I'm dead. That's so funny. Alright. Oh you can see I just noticed that. You can see us on the map up there. Look at that. You can actually see us on, uh, Iris's stream. That's awesome. I love that. Let's get this out. It's the battle! Choose a Kusamon to fight! Go! Boss! Boss is blackmail. It's super effective. This is a crazy one. Defeated the mansion leader. That's so that's so amazing. Oh my god. Said that it I love that t I love how terror just fucking flies in. All right. If we defeat him, we should be able to. <laughs> this is fucking posing. <laughs> oh, I love it so much. I love I love this Somnium. It's so much fun. Oh, it's the best one. Just look at this. Look at this motherfucker just posing. All right, where's the eyeball? I, mean, I got one, there's one more. There's one left. No! Let me in, let me in. Oh my god. Where's the last one? It's, it did say it was in the mansion. I just looked at it long enough to see that it was indeed inside the mansion. But where? But where? Uh, nope. Okay. Alright. Fine. We'll fight terror. This is the final boss battle. This is most likely the last battle. Let's think this through. Sure, but what can we do? This isn't good. We need to get stronger Kusamon and charge him head on. Strength is power. If we have any weak Kusamon, let's switch them out. Got it. Alright, it's after this fight. That's where it is. It's in the it's in the room after this one. So I haven't missed it yet at least. Alright. I don't think we need anything more than uh this is the final boss Falco, so. Let's go! I love that. Go! Next phase is fucking one winged angel phase. All right. Now it's right here. What? There we go. We got the last one that was in here. Okay. 
And we still can't open these doors. That's really funny. All right. Well, we don't have to finish the Somnium, so we're not going to go ahead and finish it. But we got all of the eyeballs, so... Yep. So now we can go ahead and move back to... Excuse me. Now we can go back to Amame's final Somnium. And get the last four. I do want to change Iba's outfit. I want to put her in the suit. That's... I want to change Iba's outfit. I want to put her in this suit. I like the suit. It looks cute on her. Hey. What? Welcome home. Look. Yay! Yay! Fancy clothing. My favorite. It looks so cute. Oh, or should I put her in the mermaid Welcome outfit? Home, because it's... King. I'm going to put her in the mermaid together. outfit. Because it's uh, mommy's. Somnium. Yeah. Yeah, why not? I'll do the mermaid outfit. Okay. So we gotta let it reload here. I'll be right back. That's the TV. Welcome to the quiz show, Faith to Face. I am your host, Andy's Komeiji. A quiz show? It disappeared. I don't know anything. Huh? don't know. Mame? Mizuki, the data we got from Tama might come in handy. It's from when Ryuki synced with Amame. Right. When we shared information at the cathedral earlier. I extracted the evidence data that looked promising and converted it to a more usable format. Project this outward and the structure of this Somnium world will waver and unveil hidden information. In other words, if we show Mame the intel we got from Tama, we'll get a reaction. Yes, but not just Amame. You can use the information to target many things in this Somnium. So you're saying I can target, like, objects? Correct. If anything looks all fishy, right. I'll try it out. The details are... Okay, skip all of this. Oh, I have to actually look at them? Okay. Okay. Oh, I just noticed that one of the locks was the wrench. Eight mental like, locks. Like, the mental lock More was in her hand, so. This was a, I mean, a ma both of Mame's Somniums are really good. Like, Mame definitely got, as she should, considering she's, like, this is the last one in the video game. Um, Mame did get the best Somniums, both of them. Both of them are really good. I wonder if the eyeball is like outside. No? Okay. Also, it's really interesting that, um, because I'm pretty sure that is supposed to be Mame's portrait, that they replaced her with the anglerfish. Like, she replaced herself. All 
right, it looks like it has it might not have spawned in yet. Or any of them might have spawned in. So I think we just have to like go. We have to do the the story things. Alright, mommy. It's a mom. Uh, How about what proof she's hiding something? Uh, that one. Okay, now we have to ask her about the Nirvana initiative, but we're looking for stuff. So now, luckily that we're in unlimited time mode, we can just look at everything. I think the answer was the Volkman first. So let's look at the TV. A TV. Nothing is on the screen. Footage from Studio Devita. An empty studio is kind of creepy. I do not believe there is any valuable information here. A TV. Nothing is on the screen. I'm sorry. Not in the mood. Aww. She didn't want to break it. Alright. Oh, the picture. Let's see what this does. A photo of a deep sea fish. How is it? What do you mean, how is it? It is just your standard, run-of-the-mill, triple wart sea devil. A photo of a deep sea fish. It seems okay to take, but we shouldn't. Oh my god, if I can show that to her as a clue, that will be really funny. Ah, Okay. A Volkman. It's the one. Oh, this song. It was a gift from Gen. Aww. Mame. Mame. It has affected her emotionally, but she is still not responding. The evidence was related to sound. Why not try it on this? What? The Volkman? Yes. It might trigger a change. A Volkman. This That's is terrifying. creepy. Can you turn it off? Whose voice was that? The sound was too distorted to tell. The evidence was related to sound. Why not try it on this? What? The Volkman? Yes. All a right. Volkman. I stop. Stop pressing X, me. All right. Okay, we can skip this. Nirvana. Oh. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Uh. Okay, we didn't get anything weird. So this. It's not this one. It's, um... I don't remember which one it is. Not that it matters. There we go. Amame, we did it right the first time. That's all that matters. You heard about the Nirvana Initiative from someone. We have an idea yes, we'll put her in the suit was, afterwards. But let's set that aside for now. In any case, you couldn't forget what you heard. Well, we're basically done after you this one because we're Nirvana gonna get the last uh, eyeballs. So... So now we can look for eyeballs again. We know that's Tokiko right there. Let's see. Eyeballs. Anywhere. Eyeballs. Not one in the camera. I don't see anything outside. Well, we're inside now. Uh, I 
am not seeing any. Oh, there it is. Ha ha! No way. Got it. All right. That's one. It's an elephant figure. Amame's personal belonging. Now is not the time. <gasps> for I want to put it on her head. I'm gonna put it on her head. I will wear it on your head. Figure. I refuse. No, come on. Aww. Hi, Ba. So mean. Uh, this right. is the. Is there anything that stands up? This is who and then talk to them. Who not gonna end? Yep. All right. We already know who it is. It's Tokiko. But we have to it do this first. Scatter. Uh, <laughs> dodged. Maybe it needs to stay scattered. No, we need a different approach. Perhaps scattered can be considered damaged. Oh, something does seem weird here. All right. An I can o an a All right. Yeah. Okay, so now we read it. Well, let's actually read it and see what it says. There are letters all over. I can make out a few words. Simulation theory. This is a false world. The guidance of Nonupal X. It seems like Nai's teachings written here, but only some pieces are legible. Maybe that means Mame doesn't completely understand it either. I agree that seems to be the case. Let's show the book some evidence. All right, Nai's book. By combining the scattered pieces up. of the <laughs> occult mag, the book was torn. The left side. I'm curious. This. All right. And now we show this and this because it's Tokiko. Woo! As I choke on on bubbles. Woo! All right. There you go, mommy. Okay, there has to be something that happens with this. Whoops. With the, uh... It is... Smell it. I already told you, I do not have a sense of smell. Do it anyway. But you can detect smell, right? It smells like petroleum-based detergent. I assume it was taken to the cleaners. I'm guessing it's a smell she still remembers. Aww. It is a... Alright, take the receipt. I have to show this to Amame. I have to show Amame the receipt. I want to know what she says. Hold on. Alright. Oh, I can't show it to her. Okay. This is from six years ago. It's the QR code. Does this to the QR YouTube code video. link to the same video? It was linked to the QR video. It has to, right? It has to actually link to the video you sent me, right? Free to free. Perhaps meaning a fight for freedom. Free could also perhaps be referring to Moksha. Oh, we actually get a thing from that. I didn't know that. That's cool. Okay, we had the body bag. Okay, I don't see an eyeball anywhere right now. Oh, 
Oh? Found it. All right. All right. This is exactly so his. Let's open it. Yona Har. Okay. A body. So I'm gonna show it. According this. to Komiki, he purchased cream ever and Mizuki. Are you actually thinking this through? I am. Aw, that was fun. Okay, how about this one? Nope. <laughs> I like that. Okay. Chara. Oops. I didn't mean to hit options. I meant to hit save. So we need the wrench. I remember that. Shoma's headphones. There is no point in me putting them on. Perhaps we should put it on this. Shoma's headphones. Hmm. Oh, the jokes. Ah. Uh. All right. Huh. I can Okay. Borrow the robot. Wait a minute. I thought I saw an eyeball. How many how many more am I missing? Just one? Two. Two. Okay. Let's get the trident. It's an oracle. Why? Oh no! It disappeared. No, I wanted. I wanted. I want to show it to Mame. Hold on. Shoot. I'm gonna reload. Yeah. I want to show it to Mame. I forgot it disappears when we do that. <laughs> Nightmare irreconcilable. Oh, I kind of do want to see what happens in the final section if I pick all of the other answers, like what Mame would say. Instead. Hey, Mega, what's up? Okay. Well, let's do the wrench first. Whoops. Stop pressing the wrong buttons, me. A wrench. Inspect it. It is a normal wrench. Okay. A wrench. There is nowhere. And then the wrench disappears into the ether. And then now, we go to the headset again. I don't see another eyeball. We're missing two. I'll go ahead and save again. There is no point. Perhaps we should put it on. Okay. Oh, and the mask. Hold on. It's Uru. No. Oh, come on. Where are the mask, Iva? It's okay. Uru. It might relieve some of Mame's stress. Huh? Ah! It disappeared. No good. 
I want to do something to help relieve her burden. All right. It's do we get any new options? No. Okay. All right. Uh, music. Save the game again. All right. Let's show the trident to mommy. An... What is the point of showing her? Just do it. I might get a reaction. No reaction. Hmm. That was still fun, though. Okay. Huh? Tiny eyeball. We found it. Yay. All right. One more to go. <laughs> nope, still not outside. Okay, there's the half of the mask. Oh, is that the only thing left for us to interact with? Okay. The iron mask. Put it on. No. Iba, just wear it. It is the right. It might relieve some of Mame's stress. Huh? Okay, it so the same thing happens. No good. Okay. It is. All right. Okay, what happens if we show up this? Hmm. Aw. Okay, what about this one? Aw. All right, all right, all right. Fine. Mizuki, enough already. This is information that was given by the sound. There is a. <laughs> Wait. Hold on. Okay, uh. Maybe I'm unconsciously trying not to discover the truth. These are fun. I'm enjoying myself. <laughs> the hidden elevator reacts after show. That All one right. Hold on. Shut up. Be quiet while I'm thinking. That's funny. I skipped over this that. This is. Okay, and then, yeah, so we find out that Mame was there while we were there. And now the last eyeball should be in here. Oh. Okay, what happens if we show her this? Aw. The Aww. sign in an alternate fray. Okay, all right. A mommy. Yep, mommy killed Uru. Okay, there's one more eyeball. Where is it? Mommy? Did I miss it? I'm going with you, Dad. You need my help, so I need to look after you. Thank you, Amame. I'm so glad to hear that. If I chose my dad, I wonder how my future would have been different. I'm going with mom. I lied. 
died in order to work. But if I didn't... I see. Okay. All the other jobs were too low paying, but I have some free time, so I'll come home and eat dinner. If we cook at home, it would save money, right? You don't have to do that, but I think Dad would be happier about seeing you than the money. Oh, Amame. I didn't know you were here. Welcome home, Dad. If I saw my dad more, would I have noticed his problems? It's okay. I'm 20 years old. You look so young. Well, the more popular you are, the more you get paid, so good luck. Okay. Thank you. We lied our ass off. She wanted to work, even if it meant lying about her age. No, she needed to work. She really cares about her family. Are you sure? I chose my best friend, but if I went to go see my dad... Iris, I'm really sorry, but I need to go see someone. He needs my help. I need to be there for him. Okay, I'll be fine. I understand. I'm sorry to ask you for such a weird thing out of the blue. I can stay on the line, though. I'll be listening. <laughs> Mommy, thank you. If I went to see Dad, maybe he wouldn't have died. Okay, I'll be right there. Iris, where are you now? Thanks, Mommy. Mame regrets this, too. Mame. The book. I don't want to read this. This world is only a simulation. You could have been saved by this truth, but... Oh well. I'm going to tell you what I told you in the basement again. I saw everything that you did. If you don't want me to reveal what I know, do as I say. What are you going to make me do? On the night of the 12th, I will use the slicer to take my own life. What? No. Tokiko killed herself? Afterward, I want you to take my right half to the president's office. Leave my body on the desk. Use the hidden elevator when coming here. I will explain how to use it later. I will tell you about the master key and access code. Why do I... Okay, That's so I did miss all. it. It's, um... I need you it's to do. above you know on the ceiling. If you decline, so we're gonna finish this, you. and then, uh... I'm gonna go Which back and get choose? it. Which do you choose? Have your biggest secret spilled? Or be part of some dangerous plan? I can't say no. If she spills my secret. That's not what I chose. Why? Even in her imagination, it's not something she can fathom. 
I had to obey. Oh, thanks, Orenji. Yes, There's Uru. this world is an imperfect one. Where's my water? I was put through much hardship, but it's all a simulation after oh. all. As long as I can reach Moksha, all will be well. The teachings of Nyes are absolute, as is the prophecy. Hey, can I ask one thing? Yes. Are you really terror? <laughs> yes, I am. What of it? Do you remember what happened on February 13th, six years ago? Of course. I will never forget. That was the fateful day I met you. You were a witness to history. You are worthy to know our ideals. Which is why I invited you here. Enough about the past. Let's talk about the future. A view cube video will soon. Alright. He came. I do love this fact, by the way, down. just that, like, you know, he is the master, the like, the grandmaster of all these plans, whatnot, you know, mine. all this bullshit. And then he false. literally has all no idea that, like, the, like he's gonna get himself murdered. Because he just doesn't have any other things in mind other than, like, what's going on in his life only. Apologize. What? Apologize for my father and everyone else you killed. Apologize? Why? Oh, I see. You don't get it, do you? Listen to me. Death is salvation. I'm sure your dad would thank me if he could. <laughs> Never forgive you. Fucking calm down over here, Seymour. With his bullshit. You. It's all your fault. You suffer the same pain. <laughs> okay, so petition for uh, AI three. Amame to star a uh, rehabilitated Mame, who has now done her time in prison and gotten out for good this behavior, and now she's a super cop. If she never got involved. It wouldn't have happened. Super cop Mame. And then she and Gen get married. And then she comes home from work and he's already made her dinner. <laughs> and then her, uh, her, her, uh, her pewter, pewter's retired by now. So the pewter that they end up having running the, the sink machine is, uh, is Shoma. Who still looks like the same age because poor Shoma has the, uh, the anti-aging thing going on, so. Alright. So, back into Mame's Somnium, where I screwed up, but that's okay. 
because at least we got to see new dialogue and stuff. And oh, that's right. Um, we have to actually we have to actually finish this one uh, properly by saving time. And I don't know how we have to do this, but at least I know where the last eyeball is, so it won't take us too long to find it. So we have to do this one by saving time. I forgot all about that because I just noticed that we didn't complete this one. And I, it's like you don't have to do this. It's not for a trophy, but I kind of want to do it anyway. Okay. That's all of it. Looks pro okay. Time to scan. Eight? Okay. Yes, yes. Okay, so we'll save here. And then we're gonna run up to mommy. It's a and we're gonna talk to her. Okay. It's a mame. And now we're gonna show her some evidence. How about? And we're gonna show her uh, what she said in yesterday's sink. And then now we have to go over to the Vokeman. And we're going to show it some evidence. And we're going to show it the sound. Okay, and then for Mame, I'm gonna show her this. And then I'm trying to remember which one it was. I think it's Terror? No. It's this one. There we go. Alright. Okay. Mizuki, you have five minutes left. Okay, it's not this one, so we come over here, do this, piece it together, okay. Some evidence. By combining the book oh, with it. the left, it's the right. Here. It's the right half. I'm dumb. Whatever. Okay, done with that. So now we get to go over to Tokiko, and we'll show her evidence. And it's these two. Don't mind me just casually forgetting things that I did five minutes ago. And then it's these three things. Alright, now this is where it shows up. This is where the eyeball is. I knew it. I don't... No. You have about four minutes left. Okay, it's the... Body... I oh, know this is not where it shows up. Damn. Okay. Um. This. And we'll show it some evidence. Okay, it's terror. Okay, it's this one. 
Okay. Or no. Okay, maybe not. It might be after Show this. Oh, times two, shit. Um... Okay, we'll put them on to get rid of the times two. Shoma's head. Okay, we'll get the robot here. Okay, this is where it is. There it is. That's okay. Yay, we did it! Cornea Collector! The Iron Mask. Okay. And so now we'll show it some evidence. The right side secret. We'll go ahead and we'll save here real quick. And we got all of the eyeballs! Woohoo! So, I think we did have to finish this because I'm pretty sure finishing finishing uh, all of the Somniums within the time limit is actually how we get the last one because that's um... That's how you get the last image that would go into the dream uh, journal. So, okay, skip this. And we're gonna pick everything that Mom may actually picked. So, we're gonna pick Mom. I'm going with you, Dad. You need my help. So, I need to look after you. Thank you, Amame. I'm so glad to hear that. If I chose my dad. I wonder how my future would have been different. Other jobs were too low paying, but I have some free time, so I'll come home and eat dinner. If we cook at home, it would save money, right? You don't have to do that, but I think Dad would be happier about seeing you than the money. So I guess we're oh, not allowed to skip Amame. everything. I didn't know you in this here. last Somnium, home, even if Dad. we've seen it before. If I saw my dad more, would I have noticed his problems? see someone. All right. He needs my help. I need to be there for him. I'm I right, we're gonna skip. We're actually gonna, like, skip through this. I'm still eating a little bit of my dinner, but might as well just skip through this.
keep forgetting I have to actually press a button there for that one. Alright, now we will become part of the plan. And then now we choose revenge. Murder. You. Okay. The only choice is murder. End him. End terror. End this man. Destroy him. She may not have killed Uru. If that didn't happen, Tokiko wouldn't have used her. But there are no ifs in this world. You can agonize over it all you want, but you cannot go back and change your path. That is the truth of this existence. I chose this path! I had to choose this path! Of course I feel guilty! Of course I'm scared! But I did it! I did what was best for me! I don't care if people attack me for it! I have no regrets! <laughs> Mommy. Mommy's VA once again, acting with her entire heart and soul on that one. Did we do it? Yeah, buddy, let's go! Woo! Trophy, get! Yeah, platinum trophy, get! Let's go! GG, gamers, we did it. All right. So now, with that done... We go into the evaluation. And we class up to S1. No way. No way, we get to join the blue man group? Let's fucking go! Dude, yes! Dude, dude. Dude, yes. We gotta go join the blue man group. Oh my god. I am on my way to join the blue man group. Oh hell yeah. Oh hell yeah. Dude, yes. That's so hype. And now to buy all of these. <laughs> Yay! Hurry and check it out. Show me too. Good choice. Yay! Hurry and check it out. <laughs> so we'll go too. ahead and we'll take the time now to look at Good all of the choice. art and the book and Good choice. And the blue maid room. Show me too. <laughs> Hurry and check it out. Show me too. Hurry and check it out. Good choice. Woohoo! Yay! 
I really want to do an Amame cosplay. That would be a lot of fun. Show me too. Hurry and check it out. Good choice. Show me too. Good choice. Hurry and check it out. I'm so I'm sorry for the Ibis spam. Good choice. Yay! Show me too. Hurry and check it out. Yay! Good choice. Show me too. Hurry and check it out. Good choice. Yay! Show me too. Hurry and check it out. Come on. Yay! Hurry and check it out. Show me too. Good choice. Show me too. Ah, album completed. Look at that. I'm gonna save that. I'm gonna take that as a screenshot. That is cute. That's awesome. Oh, okay, cool. I can skip through them. Oh, I think this. I think there's one that's almost exactly like this in uh, in the first game. Okay, here's Iris's outfit. Now, oh, are these Marco? <gasps> these are Marco. I think these are beta designs for Marco. It is. It's Marco. So that's what Marco looks like. The game gave us Marco. So he looks like a little sad ghost. So Tom is the tallest. Yeah, that makes sense. And then Marco is slightly taller than Iba. Okay, and here's two of the outfits. So we have the, the prison outfit and the uh, the entomologist Iba outfit. Uh, the robot. <laughs> Iba. <laughs> There's Leon. Danger zone. Man, I wish I could read Japanese. Oh, I put in the vending machine. I also really like uh, the outfit that they put Kizuna in for this one, for her uh, for her wheelchair. If I had that like plaid gingham, whatever that is, skirt, I could also do this cosplay. I would just need to buy a pink, like a pink shawl or a pink cardigan. Cause I have a black turtleneck and I have short, and I have short boots. <laughs> Iba. <laughs> There's Trevor. That's funny, the cult of Iba. And there's the slicer. Oh no, oh no, it's, oh no. Yeah, that's a reference. Since we played 999 on the channel, yeah, that's a reference to uh, the axe ending from 999. Oh, it is just a bodysuit under it. Oh, that's interesting. So the mask is like wrapped around her head on the backside. BB. Is the only way you can see through that because you have Marco? I bet that's why. I bet that's why she could see through it. Oh no! Poor Iba. Alright, then we got the, the nice guys. <laughs> that's great. Here's Iba! <laughs> There's Genny. Oh no, don't eat the fluorescent shrimp with the rest of the shrimp. <laughs> and then Ota. <laughs> oh my god, disheveled Ota. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I'm laughing at the, uh... 
the the microphone. That's cute. There he is. Not Zhong Li. Oh, they were toying with different hats for Kizzy, I guess. For her outfit. I kind of like the the hat with the the ponytail out of it. That's cute, actually. That looks really cute on her. <laughs> Iba Cinderella. That's cute too. <laughs> and then we have Tama. Go, Tama. <laughs> Ma male Iba? Okay. I like it. <laughs> oh, wait, that's Tom in the other outfit. Yeah, it is. Uh, no, that's her in her normal outfit, but it looks different. That's funny. Okay. Oh, that's what it says on his shirt. My protocol. Okay. <laughs> Tama. Okay. It's the it's from Shoma's Somnium. This is uh his little toy robot and that's the end of the the Somnium. There's out a rooster. Yeah, there you go. There's the robot. What? I wish I could read Japanese. Because I'm sure that's explaining the shade boobs or whatever the fuck's going on there. That's cute. Tama B T V. I love the I love the uh the leggings on this. The uh, the stockings. It's my favorite part about this outfit. I want I want this outfit so bad. It looks so comfy. <laughs> Spot the difference. I like that. Oh, there's five differences. So her eyes are open in one. Uh, what she's doing with her hand is another one. Uh, the position of the rock. So that's, what, three? So... Uh, the numbers on the side, that's four. Oh god, I'm missing the last one. last one it's not the lighting is it it might be the lighting like the lighting on her body I don't know I don't know what the last one is okay Komeji Oh no! Don't get hit by the train, Dama! Oh my god, the different haircuts for him! Oh my god, if they'd given him the bowl cut, that would have been fucking hilarious! Yes, they should have done that. That would have been so hilarious. <laughs> the Tama Show! Alright, and then we have Tokiko. I just, I love how this artist draws, like, legs for some reason. I don't know why, but I love how he draws legs. Especially ladies' legs. They always look very nice. I'm a fan. 
I mean, he also draws amazing faces, but still. They, they, they always have good legs. <laughs> Praise Tama. Ooh. I like it with the red leggings, though. So that's beta. Beta design. <laughs> Tama. <laughs> uh... I don't know why, but he looks less creepy in the drawing. He looks a lot better in the drawing than as the model, but the model that means the model did a good job because he's creepy as fuck. Oh no, Tama! Yeah. Yep. Reused assets. Okay, that's funny. <laughs> Tama doing the pose. Yay, Mizuki design! And Ryuki design! <laughs> oh, because it's Aiba, that's funny. <laughs> She's like, you're cheating on me with Aiba! <laughs> oh no. Oh, oh, testing Mizuki with the eye patch. Ooh, I kind of like fluffy hair Mizuki. I like that, actually. I guess that's supposed to be, um, uh, BB with the fluffy hair. And I like it drawn like that. That looks good, actually. I wish they had given us that. Um, I wish they had given us BB in, in the outfit with the different hairstyle. So, like, when we were playing as, uh, as BB, I guess it would have just been like, Oh, Mizuki changed her hairstyle. But I get why they didn't do that, so. And then here's the mini Evolver that, uh, that BB and Mizuki have. And then the pipe. The Evolver pipe. Yeah! Jojo Pose! No. <laughs> and that's it. All right. So we have bought all of the things. And we have looked at all of the things. So now the last one to do is, uh... Go back in and see what the characters have to say about the outfits. So... Mame is popping off in the background. All right, let's join the blue man group. Need any? Let's change. I never thought I'd look like this. Oh, I like it. It's so it's so wild looking. Oh, it, cha it changes uh, her hair, too. Hold on. Mix. Do I look talented? Oh, that's so cool. Okay, and then when you have the black hair Mix. on, it just makes streaks. I like, like that. This. I actually really like how that looks. That's really cool. And then what about the green Trans fire? They s uh, hot! Uh or not? I like this. I'm a fan. This is wild. This looks so wild. Alright, we're gonna save and we're gonna switch to Tama. I'm gonna pick this one because... Because reasons, all right? Yeah, it looks really good with the hair. All right. Be 
because both BB and Mizuki are here. All right, anyway. Tama. Ooh. Gonna join the blue man group. Happy. All right. Cause. Mm. Well, I look like a culprit that shows up in your dreams. I love that. And it looks so good with the black hair still. Okay, let's put on the let's put on the the hat. No, okay. That gets that would get rid of the hair. Okay. Um Let's let's put on the fire hand. I feel like yeah. I have a special pack. I love that. That's so cool. I love it. That's great. All right. Last thing to do. Look at the files. Because the files are funny. All right, we have Mizuki. She was adopted by Date. She uses his last name. And then we have Aiba. Like Gun Fu. He lost his parents in a plane crash when he was young and he had been living with his younger brother until he also passed. Uh, let's see. Okay. Then we have Mommy! Okay. And then Kizuna dislikes the unemployed. I forgot about that. That's really funny. Appears to be female based on body shape. Terror. There you go, Jin split in half. And that actually is the correct half of Jin. So, there you go. Skills using electric drills. His ex-wife and daughter now live in Italy. Interesting. There's Dante with Iba. I'm currently feuding with Iba. Yep. Yay, Mama! All right. There's so. Ritsuko's name. The receptionist, Ritsuko. I remember the yellow spotted river turtles. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I think it did say, I have to say, it probably said she was 24 in the last game. That's really funny. But that was in base 16. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my gosh. He likes ghosts. I remember that. He dislikes credit card transactions. Yeah. He is known as the Melter. Oh, he doesn't like foxes. How rude. Kagami! Skills playing dead. Oh my god, yes. Uh. Did the VA for, for Kagami actually die? All 
right, now to the present. Mizuki! And then we have Aiba again. Yeah, he was already mentally unstable, but it got worse. And then Tama. And then Genny. Nothing has changed. Maybe he's afraid of change. And then Mame. He still regrets not being able to protect her six years ago. And there's, here's Kizzy. Aw. She just likes being a burden. Aww. Aww, that's sad. Sometimes she'll wear her favorite shoes and try to tap a beat. Aww. Aww, he likes Ferris wheels, robots, a certain girl, and his dad. Aww. Yeah, he looks the same as he did six years ago. Oh, there she is, there's BB. Oh, okay, it updates with BB at the back, that's great. I love that, oh my gosh. That's awesome. <laughs> I love that woman, probably. There we go, here's BB. Mizuki Kuranushi, Abyss Undercover Special Agent. Likes Mizuki Date. Dislikes anyone who messes with Mizuki Date. Hobbies watching over Mizuki Date. Skills. Get your Oh god. Why, BB? Why? <laughs> BB, please. <laughs> BB, please. <laughs> oh. There, there we go. Terror. Prime suspect for the HB case. And then they add in Uru. And then here we go. Here's Uru. He was 35. His, mm, his birthday was the 29th of February. So close to my birthday. I didn't actually look at everybody's birthdays. Uh, of course. Of course Uru was on the 29th of February. Because why wouldn't he? He was unemployed because he was literally in a basement his entire life. In a dungeon. And he likes Tokiko and nice teachings. Shocker. He disliked Jin, Shikara, those who impede the plan. And his hobbies were fulfilling Tokiko's prophecy and journaling. He was knowledgeable in molecular biology, electrical engineering, quantum mechanics. The true identity of terror. When he was six, he was kidnapped by Chikara and Tokiko from Iowan. He was held in the basement of Horidori Institute and constantly had the organs in his right half taken away. Ultimately, his face as well. Yeah, so, I mean, it really did become a case of the poor, poor guy. I mean, he really was kind of destined to be a serial killer with the way they treated him. Obviously, it doesn't excuse any of his crimes, but you get it. You know what I mean? Unlike, um... Unlike Mame, where you're kind of like, all right, but she did kind of kill a serial killer, so. <laughs> all right, here's Jin. His birthday was the 29th of August. Jin Furue was killed by terror, a.k.a. Uru, Uru Somizuki, six years ago. He had inoperable tumors in the right side of his body and constantly received organs from Uru, ultimately his face as well. And then boss, updated boss. Okay, it does say, Ryuki's direct superior, Mizuki's adoptive mother and Date's old friend. Her mood changes on a daily basis. <laughs> uh, he got his clothes off of E Harbor. <laughs> I love it, oh my God. Oh. Date. He wandered all over the country after losing his memory in the explosion six years ago. After seeing the news of Jin Furue's left half being found, he regained all of his memories. In order to perform his own investigation, he used Gen's mask. <laughs> Friggin' Date, dude. 
His age is unknown. We know exactly how old he is, but I know they're saying they're not saying why because of spoilers for the first game. But we know we know how old Date is. I think he's like 50. He might be Eh, he might be like 49 in this game. I don't remember. I'm pretty sure he's like 50 though. We'll have to see how old Hitomi is, because he was just like a couple years older than Hitomi, I think. I think. I don't remember. Anyway, Iris, 24. 26th of October. Uh, her skill's still the same, runs really fast. She graduated from Sekiba High, but she's still a talent affiliated with Lemniscade and is still an internet idol. She's worried about the younger up-and-coming idols and consults Mama at Marble about it. All right, Ota, age 30. Seriously? <laughs> yeah. I love it. Oh my god. <laughs> uh. Skills, cooking, all, and driving. Yes, Ota's gotten really good at driving. He still runs Matsushita Diner by himself. He still loves Tessa. He still has no girlfriend. He's still a virgin. He's still an amazing cook. Nothing has changed. <laughs> okay, Moma. Yeah, Moma's 54. So then Date's probably like... Yeah, Date's probably like 40. Did I say he was 50? He's probably like 40. That's what I, I'm sorry. That's what I meant to say. He's not 50. Because I think... Uh, I think... Uh, I think in the first game he was like 34, so he's probably, yeah, he's probably like 40. He's probably 40 in this game. Uh, he likes Gandhi. Oh my god. <laughs> I've never seen anyone actually working there. Are they really still active? That's funny. Uh... Over the past six years, her fortune-telling accuracy has increased. A few years ago, she had lines out the door, but it got to be too much for her, and she banned everyone but repeat customers. Mama's amazing. Mama is amazing. Oh, I love Mama. <laughs> Skills fortune-telling. Guessing when you lost your virginity. Uh, that's so funny. Alright. Yamino. Kumiko, remember, he isn't taking the divorce well. He says weird things, but that's supposedly caused by watching the Nirvana trial video. Yeah, he ended up with uh, TC Purge. So. Skills eating out of shoes? What? Ritsuko. Oh, that's funny. Anti aging techniques. Damn, she's 42. She's so hot. Anyway, the receptionist at Lemnus Gate. She got dumped recently, so she's been super sad. It's like trying to beat an impossible game, and it's just game over instantly. It sucks. She's super sad. Feel bad for her, please. Aww. Okay, yeah, and, and uh, the nurse went back to her maiden name, Nasu. So. Likes manual transmissions, dislikes speed traps, and traffic cams. Damn, okay, so she's a stunt driver. What the fuck? Her actual age is 42. She took care of Jin Fudoe when he was in his late teens. Recently, she got into cars and goes to expressway races when she's off the clock. She's still in the theater group. Damn, okay. Private taxi driver. If necessary, he will take on transporter jobs. He knows Richie Chieda from a while back, and when Richie's personal driver got sick, he took over. Okay. There he is. I'm still jealous of his skill. Can use cling wrap without messing it up. Hello? Police headquarters special investigations detective. His department specializes in cold cases. Six years ago, Ushidera was in a different department, but since the HB case was unsolved, he moved. I hope we get to see more of this guy, because we really didn't get to know him that well. Kagami! Talented inspector. He was assigned to the case by police headquarters due to his impressive skills. He's looking for a girlfriend, but addicted to dating apps. I'd date him. I'd date Kagami. Anyway. Now these are the fun ones. 
This document was written for Abyss investigators. I, an Abyss office worker, am the author. I've collected information from AI balls and selected information that I thought needed additional explanation. This might contain information that you already know, but it is included in here just in case. Investigations are dangerous. You might lose your memory due to an accident. You can use this to regain your memory if that happens. Ah, uh, Date needed this. Bitch Avengers. <laughs> The titular group of female heroes from an American comic. Their members consist of a murderer, a junkie, a thief, and a housewife. They use cruel tactics to defeat the bad guys, fighting fire with fire. A real picturesque story. I would read the shit out of that. Hello? H hello I would read that. I- I need- I need this. Okay, I'm not gonna read Abyss. Uh... uh oh, really? So, okay, I said I wasn't going to read it, but, uh, they're supposed to be a private secret organization, but they became known to the public during the new Cyclops Zero killings. However, they are still unofficial, underground, and not to be spoken of. A meme song spread on the internet. I hope it's not stuck in your head now. I don't know this one, but okay. Receptionist uses the term hottie to refer to anyone she finds hot. It's pretty simple if you think about it. <laughs> uh, an Ainu ritual festival in which a bear that represents God and the spirits of the dead is sent to the afterlife. Who knows why he said that, though? Maybe he was possessed. Short for internship. It is usually the training period when entering a company. It also refers to the training itself and the trainee. I wish we had a cute intern. That's funny. Okay, uh... Add a rabbit. A rabbit character with popular merchandise. They came from the planet Adorabo to purchase their favorite food. Sacker tort. Or Sasher tort. But their ship crashed when trying to enter the atmosphere. They were rescued by Detective Mahler of the Vienna Police and ended up looking like they do now. Mizuki's favorite character. Okay. Yakuza group located in Akasa, Minato War, Tokyo. There are roughly a thousand strong, including subdivisions. Okay, wait a minute. And the underground bloomers trade. Oh god, please no. Pewter is vegan. There you go. Oh, yeah. You're right. It does. It does. It reminds me. Yeah, I could see that. But apparently pewter is vegan. Let's go, pewter. Oh, God. Here we go. A globally popular video streaming service. Those who release videos on the service are called VCubers. It's currently the number one job elementary school children want to do when they grow up. Same. No. <laughs> I want to see your first chakra. Oh no. Okay. Ignore that. Oh yeah. We forgot about that. Uh, El Goog. It's literally just Google backwards. <laughs> okay. It's functioned similar to an x-ray exam at the doctor's, so unfortunately no underwear. Naked ladies or first chakras can be seen with it. <laughs> that's funny. Oh, that's why her revolver is called Evolver MC, because it's Mizuki Custom. Okay, that's funny. I love that. Aw, yay! The acronym LGBTQ plus stands for lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, queer, slash questioning. I love them all. Accurate. Correct. Technical interpretation is subjective, but basically eros and libido are the desire to live and reproduce, and thanatos and destrudo are the desire to die. Okay. Oh my god. Frickin' Date. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> a tete a tete is a private conversation. It's funny because it also sounds like tit a tit. Oh my god. This, this is game, I swear. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. 
Okay, to codify or turn to symbols, this means all information you in existence is recorded on a flat surface. Your 2D waifu was closer than you thought! <laughs> this fucking game. <sighs> she probably meant slay the dragon, but you know how she is. <laughs> Oh my god. This game, I swear to god. Oh my god, this game, I swear to god! <laughs> oh my god. Uh, half body serial killings. Remark, boss. It has an official name now. Explanation. A signboard at Police HQ announced the name. That's funny. Oh no. When I was a kid, I used to see these vending machines near drugstores. It goes without saying what was in there. I remember bothering my mom by asking her what they were. That's so funny. Uh... Okay. Oh, fuck. How do I say this again? It's not... Chitin. There we go. Thank you, brain. Oh, it triggered. Okay, chitin. Uh, chitin is a polysaccharide polymer, which includes nitrogen. It's the main component of arthropods, oh, excuse me, arthropods, crustaceans, and mollusks. It has anti-inflammatory, antibacterial, immune properties. So it is well suited as, uh, as artificial skin. However, if used as artificial skin, the chitin is decomposed by enzymes excreted by the body, so it's not permanent. The artificial skin acts as a cover for naturally recovering skin. For Uru, the half of his face was most likely beyond the point new skin could grow back, so he probably needed constant reapplication of new artificial skin. That sucks for him. Okay, short-term memory loss... <laughs> a memory disability that makes you forget what happened in the last few minutes to few days. I get this when I'm drunk sometimes. <laughs> uh, oh my god. What the hell is a clean Yakuza organization? I love it. Oh my god. Uh. <laughs> On the <laughs> cloud. Online storage that utilizes cloud computing. In layman's terms, memory located on the network. It's not a blonde man with a huge buster sword. Uh, K2 is the second a mountain. What? K2 is the second a mountain in the Karakoram range. As Ryuki said, it's the second highest mountain in the world at 8,611 meters. It's between Pakistan and the Uyghur Autonomous Region of China. Uyghur? I don't know how you say that, actually. <laughs> Traffic. I'm in the northern part of the city. It's going to take me a while to get there. Explanation. Traffic can be brutal. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Disorientation. A disability that makes a person forget space, time, and people. I definitely get this when I'm drunk. <laughs> I love this game so much. <laughs> uh, Alright, section two. A police department which handles murder and assaults. There are nine sections. Ushidera was a member of section two, but since the HB case went unsolved for six years, he got moved to a section which specializes in cold cases. I cannot wait for AI3 already. I, it's like, I know this game just came out, but I'm so excited for AI3. I, oh my God. All it has to do is just be as good as both of these games and I would be happy. It doesn't even have to be like better. It just has to be like as good. Uh. Something even worse. Oh, I know. If you don't know it, don't say it. You were probably about to say something even worse. Knowing boss, she was likely about to make a sex joke. She absolutely was. A hundred percent. The 
hands-on. Hands-on assistance is not sexual innuendo at all. Nope. <laughs> uh, aphonia. All right, the technical term for being unable to speak is aphonia. Aphonia is psychogenic disability, which is different from aphasia, which has a physical cause, apparently. German suplex, a pro wrestling move in which you grab someone around their waist and throw them backwards, which can turn into a bridge and can then lead to a three count. The name is derived from a certain pro wrestler, supposedly from Germany, who used this throw. All right, gyro. <laughs> I guess it's gyro because it's not the sub. Or, I mean, a gyro is a gyro, but anyway. What Shomo is referring to is a gyro sensor. A gyro sensor utilizes the properties of rotating objects to avoid falling over. Oh, collective unconscious. Woohoo! It's like what Iris said before. It's like something ingrained inside all humans, like worshiping the sun and the sea or thinking that the mother is soft and the father is jagged. Regardless of your culture or background, you probably think this way. There exists a second psychic system of a collective, universal, and impersonal nature, which is identical in all individuals. Think of it like bamboo. Bamboo stalks look like individual plants since they're separated, but underground, they are all connected. Human psyches might be like that too, connected at a subconscious level. All right, police officer. Yeah, I don't need that one. Uh, I don't need that one either. There we go. Interrogation. Police officers have the power to stop someone who is acting suspicious or is tied to a crime to question them. This only works when there is probable cause. I've been interrogated a few times. I'm an abyss worker. Somebody's... <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> My man's in trouble. I love this game. Oh, it's so good. Uh, yes. Okay. Cooperation. Historically speaking, mankind wasn't like, all right, everyone, let's all work together. There was a species which was capable of working together and another that was not. The former of the two survived. <laughs> oh yeah, this. I couldn't get there right away, so I sent Mizuki instead. Mizuki was only supposed to surveil the location. All right. that okay delicatessen mizuki couldn't you be a little more delicate isn't that where they sell sandwiches and stuff that's a delicatessen <laughs> uh so good all right in cathedral door here we go the East and West Cathedrals. There was a hidden door leading to each other, which was controlled electronically. By using a special kind of radio wave, it opens automatically. Which is why Bibi can order Marco to open it. Wait, why is that here twice? Why is Bridge here twice? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Bridge is a four-player card game in which each player is dealt 13 cards. It could also be, you know, a bridge. That's funny. That's why it's in there twice. Oh, my God. Oh, no. I'm not reading that. Oh, no. Double. People who have parents of different race or citizenship. There is a word that means half, but since it was deemed inappropriate to call someone a half, the more politically correct term is double. Wait, really? I don't think I've ever heard that before. Weirdly enough, I think I've actually heard that through, like, TikTok recently. So I don't know if that's just, like, a thing that's becoming popular in Japan now or what. That or it's like someone just said it in TikTok because of this game. And that's even more hilarious to me. It's believed that Tara was referring to the flower. It is unknown why they said that. Oh, I thought he was referring to the fucking Black Dahlia murders, but okay, sure. I I'm pretty sure he was referring to the Black, Black Dahlia murders, but anyway. Oh my god. 
<laughs> Deep State, a political group which controls world politics from behind the scenes. There is no proof they exist, merely a conspiracy theory. Yes, indeed. <laughs> oh god. Oh my god. Deep Throat. From 1972 to 1974, there was a scandal in the United States that came to be known as Watergate. The individual that leaked insider information of Nixon's campaign was known as Deep Throat. Let's not get into any other definitions of the term. <laughs> I'm glad they actually put that in the appendix, by the way. Uh, when she said Deep Throat in the game, I was like, oh my god. It's like fucking Watergate. And they, and they did mean Watergate. That's great. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Psych. A phrase used when being sarcastic or not serious. Trust me. 20 years ago, everyone was saying this. Or was it 30? My brother in Christ, it was 30. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Uh, I'm old. <laughs> Twitter, an SNS service that allows you to communicate with a huge amount of people using words, images, and videos. And it is symbolized by a tiny little bird. Oh my god. Doppelganger, a type of hallucination in which you see someone that looks identical to you. Also called... Autoscopy, or otosco otoscopy, it's probably otoscopy. Uh, often considered a supernatural phenomena, it's rumored that if you see one, you will die. But that's not true. I've seen one so many times. Well, I'm basically half dead anyway, since I don't go home on weekends and look through documents all day. Damn. <laughs> this poor office worker, dude. Man needs a vacation. Nile, an SNS service that allows for communication via message or voice, via smartphone, tablet, or PC. You can even get ASET stickers. Make sure you get those right away. <laughs> I think they still have ASET stickers on, uh, on line. Yeah. Also, I do like that Nile is just line mixed around. It's fantastic. All right, nano cable. Cable that is very fucking tiny. The sync machine uses sync gear, a goggle S device that uses a nano cable that goes between the eyeball and orbit to reach the brain. After it reaches the brain, the cable spreads all over like roots of a plant, which allows the nano machine to collect synapse information, which then allows the singer to go into the sync subject's somnium world. It's a little more complicated than that, but that about covers it. If you're curious, Date should know more about the nitty gritty details, so you can ask him. Oh, wait, we can watch the video in the index? Oh, that's so cool! Oh my god, we can actually re-watch the videos in the- in the index. That's wild! A video from February 14th, likely related to the Nirvana Initiative. There are two ciphers which seem to represent the time and location of the plan. That's so cool! video popular on the internet now. Possibly even more dangerous than Bats 490. Apparently many people have gone missing after seeing this video. Neanderthal. Neanderthals are stronger and had larger brains than modern day humans. However, these physical advantages de excuse me, disincentivized cooperation to achieve shared goals. And as a result, they went extinct. <laughs> it's right at the back of my uvula. LOL. Uvula. <laughs> fucking game, dude. Oh my god. When Mizuki was confronting terror in an abandoned factory, a group of armed masked men showed up. They were an international mafia. They take drugs on a daily basis, so their brains are soft like tofu. They will do anything for money, and they were most likely hired by terror. Oh no, the abandoned factory sink machine. Without getting too deep into the backstory, the idea is that an old model sink machine was rigged to self-destruct if any attempt was made to move it. The authorities decided it would be better to keep it and attempt to figure out how to undo the sabotage, then let it be destroyed. It also serves as a backup in case Abyss Headquarters sink machine goes down. Did he... Did he rig it with explosives? 
I don't remember him doing that. I guess I guess I'll find out when I rewatch it again. The first game, so. Pile driver, a pro wrestling maneuver. It is performed by sticking the head of your hunched over opponent between your legs and lifting them so they are upside down. In this position, you fall backwards on your butt and the opponent's head is slammed into the ground. Yeah, Bats 490, a video which upon viewing is said to lead people to understanding the secret of the world. Which this was part of uh, promotional material for the game. So. I remember watching this on Twitter. But then I never did like the, the thing you were supposed to do for it. Like, because I was trying not to spoil myself for the game at all, so. Yeah, there you go. So those that's that's what you were supposed to do, was you're supposed to take the information in the video and uh, put it into the website and solve the puzzle, so. That was, that was the, uh, the, like, promotional thing that you were supposed to do, so. <laughs> uh, phrase used by the Yakuza meaning gun, GAT. Subversive Activities Prevention Act, a political act created to punish violent, destructive organizations. <laughs> Thoughty, do you really want me to explain this one? I'm dead. Oh my god. Uh, I love Ritsuko, dude. Uh, call and response. This is one of the call and response chants for Aset, Iris, between her and her fans. They're magical chants that creates a special kind of unity. It's a cult. No, I'm kidding. Uh, close to Brazil. Tama, referring to underneath the Nye's building. Since Brazil is on the other side of the globe from Japan, they are technically closer to Brazil by being 50 meters underground. Okay, that's interesting. Wow. I did not know that. Oh, that's so cool, actually. That's so funny. Black Window. It's, it's Black Widow. A female character from a certain American comic. She lives in Tokorozawa Sayatama and is a watermelon thief. She spits out the seeds to bore her enemies with holes and kill them. She has a preference for tight leather pants. Her fly is constantly open, exposing her panties, thus the reason for her name, Black Window. That's terrible. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. oh, I'm sure it was. I am sure it was unnecessarily difficult to animate. Oh man. Good lord. Uh, Brahmin, a multicultural restaurant run by Gen Ishigane. Brahmin is a Hindu word meaning the fundamental prin principle of the universe. I did actually know that. Here's the Fray to Free video, the video contained in the QR code link on the signboard. At Abyss, we call it the QR video. Boat. Tara was referring to boats for some reason. Okay, call and response number two. This is one of the call and response chants for Aset Iris between her and her fans. They're a magical chants that create a special kind of unity. Horidori's comment, all of what Shakara said were lies. He lived in order to keep Shoma quiet and to have him continue the experiment. He is truly a terrible person. Did I say he lived in order? Yeah, he lied. I'm sorry. I can't read. I just threw a fucking V in there for no reason. Oh no, it's the Bopo! <laughs> a nickname for police officers. It's meant to be somewhat derogatory. It is. It's hilarious. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> oh. Mama and Leon. Leon is a regular at Gen's restaurant, Brahmin. Since Marble's also located in Golden Yokocho, he frequents there as well. That's how Mama knows about Leon, but I'm not sure how she knows about his. Yep. <laughs> the answer is yep. Oh boy. Date eavesdropping. 
This time, Iba accidentally used an open connection, open to Abyss affiliates and authorized personnel. Date's eye socket is still equipped with an AI ball communication device. Therefore, Iba and Mizuki's conversation was heard by Date. When the two want to talk in secret, they have a whisper channel. Tom and Ryuki have something similar. Good old Kagami. I love Kagami. There is a wonderful technology called the internet. Please use this to search for more. <laughs> Aww. We need more Kagami in our lives. I need all of the Kagami fan art right now. Yes, Milky Moon! An anime popular with elementary school girls, also known as Mill Moon. They have Mill Moon shows at shopping malls and amusement parks. And Iris was a super fan when she was a small child. The chart. Found in Terra Sync. This may be useful. Live. Oh, wait. Yeah, live. As in, watching it as it was being recorded and broadcasted. Like we're doing right now on stream. Oh my god. I'm sad I missed my father's passing. He didn't live stream it. Oh my god, that's so bad. Good lord. Oh. Uh. Bondage. There are many bondage positions which reference sea life. How strange. Oh my god. Speaking of, oh my god. A phrase used to show heart-throbbing excitement. They're coming out with a sequel? Oh my god! <laughs> oh, that was me when this game got announced. <laughs> I said all of the oh my gods. <laughs> oh. Nirvana spell. Fray dumb letter. Interesting. That's... Okay. Th 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 thank, thank you, game. Trivia! Which... What? Am I missing trivia? I'm missing some trivia. Oh my god. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to go back and get the missing trivia later. I'm not worried about it right now, but I'm gonna have to go back and get it. I have to figure out how to get these. Wow, how did I miss so many? Oh, I wonder, you know what? I'm wondering if the missing trivia ones possibly have something to do with the fact that I played the game in uh, spoiler mode. I'm wondering if some of these are like non-spoiler mode trivia. Or these are spoiler mode trivias. And that's why I can't click on them. But I did, I, I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm not sure why they're like this. Huh. That's so bizarre. Okay. Okay, and then we have the manual. So, go ahead and skip through that real quick. Alright, well that was everything. So, we've done pretty much everything in the game. We have a bunch of extra eyeballs for no reason. But, that's it. We finished the game. We got the platinum. We got... We got all of the all of the outfits. We got everything in the game. So, so there we go. That was a lot of that was a lot of fun. I hope you guys had fun. Uh, and this is probably the last thing for AI. Um, and uh, so I know I said before that. I'm gonna, I, I, I'm pretty sure I said this. I'm gonna be working a lot of overtime coming up soon, but hopefully we can, we can go back to Persona. Um, if I end up just having to like squeeze in random streams in between my overtime that's not at like my set times and things don't work out, I'll probably play Golden Sun on those days. 
But yeah, that was that was a lot of fun. I really did enjoy this game. I enjoyed it a lot. And so we're gonna end AI here. Again, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm glad you did. Uh, I'll probably come back on with some Genshin. So look forward to that. All right, we'll see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye, <gasps> Zuls!